Hey everybody, just wanted to make a super short video. As you can see on the title of this video, finally, after so many months of work, the procedural CD generator has finally been submitted to Epic Games for approval. Um, yes, <laughs> the wait is almost over. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me, leaving comments on, on YouTube, on Discord, DMing me asking me when can you guys get uh, hands on PCG. Yesterday night, I finally submitted the initial version to Epic Games. So that means then hopefully in a couple of weeks, we will, uh, we will get everything approved and I can finally publish it in the marketplace. So that is the first thing I wanted to let you guys know. And obviously the most important thing, it is coming within a few weeks, depending on how quick Epic Games can go through the review process and how quickly I can fix things. So please stay tuned. Of course, I'm going to make another video and announcement when it's finally in the marketplace and you guys can go and get it. Um, the other thing I did want to mention is I've, I've mentioned this before on Discord and I believe I've said this on previous videos, but I want to say it here again. Um, I had to remove some of the planned features for the 1.0 and I had to move those features for the 1.1 release. And the reason for that is because um, some of these were really big features like landscapes um, and they would have taken me a significant amount of time to implement that for 1.0. So my compromise was simply to, to simply push all of those big features out for a future release so I could get this out of for you guys that wanted uh, as quickly as possible. And for that reason, even though I'm going to call the initial version 1.0, I do consider this version kind of an, as an early access version for you guys. So for those of you that wanted the full feature set that I initially planned for 1.0, um, you are free to wait till the 1.1 1 .1 update. That's perfectly fine. For those of you guys that want uh, to get your hands on this as quickly as possible. Well, you can do it as soon as it re releases. Just keep in mind, this is going to be considered kind of an early access. And because of that, I'm planning to release this and price it at 30% off from its final price. So obviously, if you decide to support me and get this as early as possible, you're going to get it at a significant discount. And of course, I'm going to be looking for all of your feedback uh, to make sure that all of the bugs are ironed out all of the different little things that you know that I've been working on that I think are you know make sense as far as design, I'm gonna be looking for your input uh, definitely. And as I'm talking here, how about I just show you quickly what's coming for 1.1? Typically, I don't show this, but I do have a little Trello board, and you can see that I have a bunch of stuff that were done for release 1.0 completed that I've been working on, as you can see here. Uh, obviously, this is a lot, you know a lot of the others completed stuff. Uh, as far as all the different categories, but here's the most important thing right here release 1.1 um, That that will come. This is obviously the update after release I'm gonna be working on an interface for the park uh, So if you did get the procedural park, which by the way is 50% off right now You're gonna be able to add a quick panel to the PCG menu So you'll be able to to with the same menu spawn your parks and generate your procedural parks in your city I do plan to add support for bodies of water. This is obviously going to be 4.4.26, which of course is on preview right now. They have the new water system that's coming in preview too. I do plan to have the roads detect uh, water uh, and hopefully automatically, programmatically create bridges, which is why you see that there's an add bridge option here. Some of this early code is in the procedural park but I, I plan to kind of expand it. Uh, and obviously the landscape is the other option that you see here, that's kind of big. Uh, in 424, I believe, um, the landscape um, so, uh, as system added layers and landscape um, brushes with blueprints. So there's a lot of changes that have happened to landscape and, and I just need time to go over all of the new uh, options and see how I can how I can include proper landscape support for cities. So I know that's kind of the biggest thing. Right now, the cities are flat, which is obviously not realistic. <laughs> so that is something that I do plan to address in 1.1. Uh, another thing that you see here is chaos, obviously. 
uh, chaos. I've been waiting for it. I even have a little um, tab that's kind of a placeholder for chaos. So we're going to have two different versions. 422 to 425 is going to support Apex Destruction. That's currently the, the PhysX uh, system. And then I'm going to have a separate version for 426. That version is going to have Chaos because I believe Apex is going to be disabled there. So I'm going to remove Apex, put Chaos, and I'm going to have Bodies of Water for that specific version. And perhaps the Landscape option if I absolutely need 426 for that. Uh, and the last thing I do plan to do is replication for all the blueprints. Now for you to generate your city, this is all done at uh, editor time. So you don't really need replication, but there are some blueprints, for example, you know, the, the cars, the vehicles, the, you know, the, the interactive blueprints uh, that may, um, that may benefit from some replication. This is fairly simple, but might as well just do that. That way, um, even the small blueprints that I include, are already ready for uh, for multiplayer. So none of this is a hundred percent promise. So please don't take it as such. <laughs> this is my plan uh, for 1.1, and again, this is coming after that initial release. So you can see here, this is the uh, the demo level that you guys are going to get, the showcase level, and you can see that we have uh, some arrows. So you're going to be following the arrows as I, as you're walking around. You're going to see that we have some blueprints here. Uh, just the same thing that will show you kind of a widget style um, message. So as you're walking around, it's going to kind of give you a, a city tour, basically, of everything that you're going to be getting in PCG. So you can see here as I'm walking, it gives you kind of the, the message as welcome. And you're going to be walking around, following the arrows, and you're going to be getting a pretty high level um, explanation of everything that you're seeing in the city. Obviously not completely detailed. But just enough that if you haven't been keeping up with the devlogs and you just want to fire it up and just walk around and explore the city, you will be able to get kind of this guided tour that you see here. Uh, and then after that, you'll be able to explore the city, go inside the buildings uh, and see that everything is fully, uh, fully functional, that you can enter any building, that you can use any vehicle, that you can go to the airport at the end and fly any airplane uh, and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Again, we are mere weeks away from uh, the release of PCG. Again, it's going to be 30% off that initial release 1.0 because I do consider that early access. If you want to get your hands on an early version of PCG, feel free to get it at launch. Otherwise, please wait until I get the other stuff that I originally had planned. That's going to be the 1.1 update. That is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for everybody for your support. It's been months of work. If you've been following the devlogs, a lot of you have helped a lot on this project. Uh, you know, all of the all of the assets here are pretty much community sourced. Uh, you guys have been helping me with assets and suggestions and feedback. So I really, really appreciate it. I am super excited to get this in your hands and see what you guys can create. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Any other suggestions or comments about my plan, please do let me know. And if you haven't joined our Discord, I'm going to leave a link in the, in the description. Please do join. I, I post screenshots and there's a lot of discussions there. I'm a lot more active there uh, as opposed to these videos where I need some quiet time to kind of record them. So, so yeah, thank you guys so much again for all your support. Hopefully, uh, PCG leaps up to the hype, and I know a lot of you guys are super excited. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you in the next video.